It's 5.30 in the morning. I'm in the brand new, not yet unveiled, Audi e-tron Sportback, and we're going on a drive to check out its new, innovative lighting system. The new lighting system uses three different lighting modules. It has the low beam system, the high beam, and the matrix. Now, the matrix is really, it's, it's a small chip with over a million micrometers. And with that, it can create a high definition light beam. And one of the cool features is the ability to sort of put out a carpet onto the road so that it, it illuminates the lane you're in just a little bit brighter than the rest of the lanes. And when you switch lanes, it'll actually extend out to the lane you're going into. Now, it's not connected to the turn signal. It's actually using, well, the sensors that you would use for the ADAS system, like the cameras, the radar, all that stuff. So as it sees you going over the line, even if you don't have the turn signal on, it'll extend that lighting system. If you see the light out there and you see these sort of chevrons, those are actually the widest part of the vehicle, how far out the mirrors will stick on a car. They're kind of like whiskers for a car. Your cat uses its whiskers in order to know how wide it is in order to get through spaces. You can use this to know how wide your vehicle is as it's driving on the road, and you can use it to orientate yourself or to get through tight spaces, which is probably unlikely when you're on the freeway where this feature is geofenced for. Now that additional matrix module will work with both high beam and low beam, and it'll do things like detect pedestrians alongside the road, and if you're, let's say you're going around the corner, you haven't turned on your high beams, it'll ask, actually mask out oncoming traffic so that person is not blinded by your fancy new lights. The technology for this has been in Europe in vehicles for for a while. Unfortunately, here in the United States, NHTSA will not allow it to be used on our roads. Now, the government organization does say that they're investigating it, but we have no timetable yet as to when or if this will come to the U.S. What we will be getting in USA is animation as you get in and out of the car. Audi is huge on its light signatures and now you can have those projected either on a wall or on the road. The car will determine via lasers, everyone loves lasers, whether or not it should be projecting it on a wall or on a road and you have five different animations to choose from. So while we won't be getting this entire package in the United States except for the cool animations, the hardware will be there in case Netza changes his mind. For more automotive coverage from the LA Auto Show, be sure to subscribe to Engadget.